Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Bio Inc. with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the Death Campaign. In today's episode, we are going to be doing the Death Race, race against an AI opponent. So essentially, this is a big change to how the game normally works, in that you have no doctors, so you simply can't be cured or detected or anything like that, but there is another death somewhere, killing another person, and you have to make sure that your person dies before their person dies. It's a really big shift to the game, and honestly, really, really interesting. If we go over to the life campaign, there's something somewhat similar there as well, with massive rule changes in the middle. Well, it's similar in the fact it's massive rule changes, but that's pretty much where the similarities end, both of which give you a real feel for different tactics and give you an odd sense of freedom. So, let's kill someone. So at this moment, I haven't yet looked at all of the suggestions for names, so I will be taking suggestions in the future if I do play this game more. So for now, I'm simply going to call this poor person how I'm currently feeling, which is of course, Sleepy. McSleepface. Yes, I am incredibly tired right now, it's just got midnight, and I was in the mood for a bit of disease, apparently. There we go, with lethal, and continue. So, what do we want then? So we want to make sure we can kill as fast as possible. So, overweight is amazing. All weight-related risk factors are 50% stronger, which is just insanely good. Or we could go with something like this. All diseases are 10% more potent. You kill him 10% faster as a default very passive thing, which is awesome. But also we could get two random diseases straight away and combining that with the bio point increase would be amazing. Also soon I will be leveling up so then I can actually have three of these, which would be utterly amazing. I think starting with 15 is very important. And I'm tempted to go with two random risk factors instantly given to us, which will be a massive advantage, being able to instantly weaken certain systems in a similar way to the diseases, but a more long-term version, especially since they can actually make some diseases cheaper. So, yeah, okay, let's go with random risks as well. So, bonus DNA, sorry, bio points to start off with, and yes, I'm still calling it DNA because Plague Inc. is Plague Inc., and my head is in Plague Inc. And random risk, yeah, I think that's a good one. Let's see how we do. This is taking way too long to load, I've probably cut. There we go. Objective, terminate Sleepy McSleepface before your AI opponent. There is no recovery and no doctors. Terminate Sleepy McSleepface before your AI opponent does it before you. So as you can see, there's the AI victim. So, risk factors, unlucky, which is actually rather unlucky. I didn't really want that too much. And workaholic, so... This is a good one, though, because straight away we have a bonus against his nervous system. Are any of the others good for that? Not really, no. So maybe we should just go straight into the nervous system and utterly obliterate it. This is really weak. That's the problem with this one. It starts off very, very mild. Well, not so much to the nervous system. I'm, I am, of course, speaking more about the collateral damage there and derping up a little bit. Fine, chronic stress... And nervous breakdown. There we go. A very strong start against his nervous system. So, everything else is still pretty intact. We could go for his immune system as well next, which would be rather interesting. Or we could go for the heart, since this does overlap a lot with the nervous system. And of course, there's the heart attack, which is one of the strongest by far. Okay, let's go with high cholesterol. There we go. So, a lot of damage being placed on the nervous system straight away. And once we spend 50 bio points, we'll get bonus resources. Okay, everything is good. Hello, renal system. Okay, 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 all good. Now, one thing I just saw. Must make a visit to the emergency room. So the emergency room is here, but not the doctors. I don't know how that's going to work. Okay, well, uh, we will see, I suppose. You're nine. That's a lot of damage. We need one system to collapse as soon as possible. That's our big goal, because as soon as we do that, 
all of the systems will start taking damage. Which is a very, very big deal indeed. So, there we go. Dementia. Requires over 60 years old. Hmm. Is that worth me getting? Not really, honestly. Though, how powerful is this? My lord, that is powerful. Maybe it is worth it just because of just Alzheimer's disease on its own, honestly. That's just so ridiculously powerful. The nervous system would collapse very quickly with that. Do the whole turn me up thing, which is still way louder than any other sound effect. Okay, so our AI opponent is going against his circulatory system, and it's going down pretty quickly. Now it's going down. Yeah, we need to pay attention to that, honestly. Ow. Maybe we, maybe we should do the same then. We could also go for Stroke, which I think is here, which would do damage to the nervous system as well. Actually, so does that, but very mildly. That costs 22, but it's actually more powerful than Alzheimer's disease, and it does a lot of damage to everything. Okay, yeah, let's go for that. So we need 22 DNA for that. That's going to take a little while. Oh no, I was missing points. Oh darn it, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the other guy's health. Hmm, he doesn't seem to be speeding up. Oh, what just happened to his nervous system? That was a bit of owie. I really wish the points stayed around a little bit longer. Not too much longer, but just a little bit. Because like then, I was pretty quick getting there. There was no way I could have got both of those. Or maybe there is. Maybe I'm just derpy. Which I know is a big shock. And again, we miss one on the top. Hmm. Mildly irritated. A little while later, and there we go. Enjoy your stroke, sir. Oh, dear. That is very morbid. Oh, look at that. The nervous system is going down so quickly. But the other guy is doing pretty well as well. Oh, yeah, that was my fault. That time, I was not paying attention. I have missed so many points now. Maybe I should grab this. There we are. Plus 20% resources. If we can get anything else with the nervous system, we're almost definitely going to win. But the thing is, this is going to go down quite quickly anyway. So maybe we should start working on other things so that we can get some points there as well. I'll be taking you. And you. No, no, you're not getting away from me that easily. So, what next then? Muscular damage and some circulatory. Is it worth going this way or shall we go down the more certain route? I think the certain route. There we go, you have that. And soon you will also have Arrhythmia. Which will cost us 16. Which isn't too much actually, so that's pretty good. And that will do a lot of damage. I'll be taking those two. Thank you very much. A nice start there. Hello, skeletal damage. Stop it with your dodge in there, mate. Okay, so three more. I think we've won this one, honestly. The AI opponent seems to have gone a little bit weird and has gone everywhere. And we have been focusing a lot more. And because of that, we are going to get this lovely, lovely system down very soon. In terms of percentage health, we're actually very close. He has 79, we have 76. The thing is, like I say, because we focused so much, we're going to have a system collapse which will hurt everything else. Nervous collapse is the achievement. Excellent. So down goes everything now in a lovely spiral. The heart's going down very soon afterwards, although his nervous system is going down as well. Okay, so how much is a heart attack? That may actually be a little bit too much. By the time we can afford this, he may have already had heart failure. So, maybe we should go into something else. What's the second most damage system other than these two? So, the third most damage system. Well done, Matherix. Hmm. Can't do any of these, really. Well, we could do this if we got the over 60 years old, but... What should we go to? What's an easy one to get a nice lump? Um, by the looks of things, Salmonella infection is really nasty and damages two systems. Um, so do you, honestly, and we can get you now. 
Oh, you would speed up what's already happening. Okay, let's do that, just because that also damages renal. Thank you, and thank you. That's what I wanted to see. Loads of DNA there. Thank you very much. The AI opponent is catching up, though. Very annoyingly. At 15, though, we can start doing some major damage to his digestive tract. And speed up his heart failure. Okay, the enemy has now had at least one system collapse, so he will be catching up with us. But we're about to have our second, so hurrah for that. And goodbye to your digestive system, sir. Ooh, nasty. Once again, digestive system. A lot. Okay, yep, so we need 18 for that. Wow, his systems are taking damage so quickly now. Although now I do sort of wish we had spent a little bit more in the other systems, because now it is a little bit slower than I would like, even with the fact I just said it was fast. I would like it to be faster. Thank you, thank you, and was it 15? I think it was 15. Let's have a quick look-see if my memory served me right. No, it was 18. So no, my memory didn't serve me very well then. Again, a huge shock to people, I'm sure. Thank you. Say hello to that. Now, I really should have got this earlier. Oh, we need to do this one and then that one. I can't simply skip. Oh, that's annoying. That is very annoying, actually. Well, I don't have four risk factors, sorry. He's about to have his second collapse as well, and that makes him very close to us, honestly. The, di the digestive system of this fellow, though, is not looking very good, I do have to say. So, there we go. Let's do that. So, a few things I've learned this time. I think risk factors are more important, even if you are rushing, than I kind of thought. And also, getting those bonuses to the resource collection would have helped me a lot as well. Come on, thank you. We're on 19, he's on 22. This is ridiculously close. His digestive system is about to fail him, though. And let's do some damage to his renal system as well. Whilst we're at it, enjoy your salmonella infection, because that is a world of fun, let me tell you. We're on 8% and dropping very, very quickly. Look at his systems go. The enemy is on 11, on 10, on 9, on 8. Oh, we are so close. It is horrible. And a glorious victory. There we go. Which means we, we will, of course, get four skulls. Lethal bonus. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Thank you very much. We shared 98.4% of our DNA with a chimp and 70% with a slug. You could say people can sometimes feel rather sluggish. Well, although this video will likely be fairly short, especially with cutting a lot of sections from that last battle, I am actually all out of time for today's video. Like I said, I am currently recording this at midnight because I spent all day recording other things for later in the week, but I really wanted to have a quick game of this, and it's been a lot of fun. If you would like to see more, then I do highly suggest that if you have enjoyed, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel and most importantly shows that bio inc is a series you wish to see continued in the future there's a lot more to cover in this game and if we go over to life there is one thing i am dying to play again now if we go over to here the middle match in med school is Diagnosis MD. I have played this four times, three of the times have been successful. The first time when I was trying it, I absolutely got wrecked. Diagnose all diseases before it is too late. And the catch is, he's got a lot of diseases. But the bonus is, every time you diagnose something, they get treated for free, which is obviously a very big deal. And it really does teach you about how the symptoms work in this game a lot. So I really want to do this again, certainly wouldn't hurt leveling me up. And then I also want to do this, the residency. Treat all diseases before it is too late. Maybe that has different rules, I really don't know. So, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.